How cute is that little dog? And he's available for adoption at the Cobb County Animal Shelter, as well as this little cutie. It's Nancy Alden, uh, joined by my friend Kara Archer. Kara, tell us about this dog waiting for a home. This little wonder has grown to be actually one of the volunteer favorites. I would like to introduce you to Mary. She is about a six-year-old plus Shepherd Collie Mix, who currently resides in Kennel 2. And why she has become a volunteer favorite is she's actually been here since uh, December because guess who had uh, puppies? Gotta love the moms. And one of the things that we also were very disappointed to find is that she was also heartworm positive on top of that, which means that we had to put in a little bit extra care. She was treated by our best friend's medical fund. And all of her puppies have since been adopted. And she actually came back, she is heartworm negative. So she is ready to go into a home. We put her with kids of all ages. She is an excellent leash walker, knows several commands, and this beautiful lady would make any family proud. So if you're really interested in a phenomenal dog, I, I think you should check out Mary and Cage too. Red is what we are going with as a red bone mix, which actually is a hound. Now, I know that uh, one of the things I can tell about you, him, is that he is extremely active. He does not realize. How old is he? Oh, eight to nine months. Okay. So this pup. is a baby. He actually, if you can see, he loves his toys. He loves chasing after them. And he will need work on his basic commands, but who cannot love an underbite like that? See, huh? Uh-oh. There he goes. He does have a little underbite. Now, since He's this exactly guy is gone. actually neutered, he can walk out of your walk out of the kennel today. I know. See, he does it with love. See, and even though he's a hound, I know you know all dogs bark, but he tends to be more on the quiet side. He does uh, like to cuddle and get kisses and hugs. So, if you have a family active, maybe go hiking, running. I think this boy would love it. Would love it. Make a great home for him, right? Do you see a big barker? Or? He, all dogs can bark, but no, actually Red is not that big of a barker from what we have seen here. But mine is. That's the number one complaint of all pet owners is that my dog barks. They're not like when somebody comes through the door, obviously. Yes. Not at home constantly. He's not a yapper. But when I take him for a walk, he sees another dog. He hears a motorcycle. Yes. He hears the postman, something like rattling. Yes. He goes crazy. And then people walk up to us and say, oh, what a cute dog that is. And then they get, yeah, we do. That Dog is whisper. one. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> we have it here a lot, and I have it at home. One of the things that you can try to do is a preventative of the barking is have a great baseline. Um, most dogs bark, but if you redirect their attention to you, they stop immediately. They are trying to get our attention. There's somebody there barking at the say if somebody's mailman, if somebody's near your house, that's yeah. fine. Excessive barking is nuts. That's where you usually get into problems. You can either have one of the uh, ways you can distract them is you can always have a can filled with pennies. It makes a loud noise. Shake that. Those dogs do not like that. There are some times where you can actually use a squirt bottle. Oh, of my water. Gonna crazy. Oh, crazy, <laughs> crazy. Um, and to be firm, I know that you have a little dog. And some people will think that, oh, little dogs are delicate, big dogs, you gotta be. No, all dogs need to have a leader. And if you are firm with them, like this guy right here, they end up being really good dogs. So if you have the barking issue, it's a matter of correcting. You um, are the leader. You gotta remember yes. that. Yes. Yeah, you or love them. With, with uh, some points in it or, or a water bottle. Or you could always do the tap and correction. So if you have a baseline, if they're barking, and the keno sit, and distract them from barking, and then that way you can actually, like this guy right here. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> oh. ah, come get red. Red, you're a good fellow. You're a good fellow. Yeah, we're next to the little underbite. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do too well. I know. I'll do too well. Ow! I know. You can <laughs> 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 You started it. You I know. started it, Nancy.
how cute is this little one? Is he, he going to be at pause for a cause this Oh, uh, you know what? I know he would like to go, but he is actually a little bit too young. But we do have a couple others that are going to join the festivities. Ooh. So, yes, pause for a cause is this Saturday, um, May 12th between 9.30 in the morning and 3 o'clock at the Green Polo Fields. Oh, Big place. Play. It's huge. Yes. yes. And, and it's beautiful. Yes. And hopefully the weather will hold out and we are going to bring a couple of adoptable guys, maybe <laughs> Chip and Dale. Uh, there's example. vendors, there's food there, um, all oh, sorts of great. animals yeah. to adopt. And, yep. And there are activities for the whole family. So it is free for everybody if you'd like to come on down. You know what I'm going to call you? Freddy the Freeloader. <laughs> <laughs> Last remaining puppy, guys. Say hi, youngest of seven. <laughs> come on, come on, Dan. You know you want.